Well, I am excited. Uh, I like to call this woman a friend. We only met once in Santa Fe, New Mexico at a conference similar to our CGL conference in Lecce, Italy. Liz Durrett is with the University of Saskatchewan. We shared three days in a conference room together and got to know each other. And I couldn't be more excited to have you here today, Liz. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, thank you for the invitation to talk with you. Uh, so I work at the University of Saskatchewan. I'm the senior consultant for diversity and inclusion, and I've been here just about five years. And during that time, um, and my time previous to this, I was with Saskatchewan Polytechnic, and both organizations have supported my journey on diversity and inclusion, which has included um, the Summer Institute going down and, and being part of that, but also, you know, as you mentioned, I met you in Santa Fe for emotional intelligence and diversity work that I've been down to the state several times for. And you've done a lot of work in your area uh, with Indigenous peoples, right? That's been part of your driving force uh, in your career and in the work that you do. Is that correct? Absolutely. I mean, the work I do, I think, is very personal, and it's been a really personal journey. But also, it's expanded when I think about from an intercultural lens and the work that I've been educated in through all the training I've attended, that if we're going to talk about Indigenization, truth and reconciliation, a lot of people have a lot of biases and stereotypes and we have to prepare them in a way that's meaningful so that they open up to the engagement. And that's what this training has done for me. It has really changed my career trajectory and the work and the level that I'm doing and the way that I'm informed that a lot of others aren't who haven't taken this training. That's a great segue, Liz, into kind of why do we go to these events? Why do we attend these conferences? Uh, Tell me a little bit about your why. Of course, there's a certificate that's useful for your credentials as you continue on down this road, especially in the academic world. But on a more human level, talk about your why for attending these conferences. Oh, geez, I have many whys. Um, on a personal level, every time I go, I feel included and I feel welcomed. I have great relationships there as indicated by our friendship. And I think the level of professionalism, training, in-depth knowledge. It's, I can't get that anywhere else. And so that's why my heart has always pulled me back there because it's, it's made me a better professional, well-regarded in my field. And yeah, we just have some of the best trainers who attend this and some of the best people from around the world who go to these events. And so it deepens your learning. You make personal connections. Whenever you need help, I just reach out to people in the field to help me. Well, connection is kind of my jam. That's what my life seems to be all about as I come from the private sector. And now I move into this world more, more deliberately. When we put together CGL, we tried to come up with some, some really key components and we call them our five pillars. And I think I experienced a lot of this with you in Santa Fe. Our number one pillar is vulnerability. Number two is stories, the sharing of your story and the listening to other stories. Uh, the third one is connectedness. The fourth one, if, if, if we've, if we followed the first three of vulnerability, stories, and connectedness, it should lead to transformation. Mm -hmm. And then if transformation takes root, then it leads to growth. And those are our pillars. And I experienced that as an outsider at this conference in Santa Fe. I was vulnerable enough to be approachable, as were others in the room like you. I listened and shared story, connected on a human level, and was changed by the experience. And now I'm in a completely different trajectory than I was two years ago, I think was the time frame when we, when we met in that conference. So let's talk for just a minute about takeaways. I mean, for me, it was a room full of people from really diverse, different backgrounds who were able to set aside their, their titles or their roles or their positions and come together and share their lives as it related to their titles, roles, and positions and how they do their work, of course. Uh, but tell me about so let's, let's talk about, you've come to Lecce, Italy. You're on your plane coming home. You've had five days of incredible experience, connecting, doing all the things we talked about. You're flying home. Tell me what you would see, having done this before, what you would see as some of your takeaways, some of the things you would hope to go home with. You know, I always think about that before I go to any conference. And I think uh, most importantly is mastering my stories about why this work is important. Why is it applicable to the University of Saskatchewan? How is it going to align with our mission, vision, values, our strategic plan? How do we grow our leaders to be, uh, to be effective in a global environment that, you know, the University of Saskatchewan, I mean, we talk about being the university that the world needs. Well, if we're going to be the university that the world needs, we need people within that university who can represent that and also coach and provide training. That's really high level to make us the best university that we can be as a U15. Fantastic. 
Well, if you had a chance to talk to, which you do, because we're doing this video and it's going to be broadcast on several social media sites, if you had a chance to one-on-one -on -one with one person who's considering coming to Lecce, what would you say to them? I'd say it's going to be money well spent. It's going to be time well spent. And that there's no place like the Institute that I've attended and the friendships. And it's just different. It's not the connections, the vulnerability and the personal growth, plus your the theory and the practicality of what you get from that, you can't get it anywhere else. I mean, that's why I've always been such a strong promoter and I've attended so many uh, institutes. And, and when you experience that, you come back home and you apply those things into your workplace. The thing that we often don't talk about because there is such a human component to this, but there are direct measurable results more effective communication within your work groups, more effective bottom line results. If you're an HR manager planning on sending some leaders to this event, there's direct bottom line results from a company that's more attractive to recruits or stickier for people who work there so that they don't leave. And people who come to work in an environment where they feel valued and they feel like they can make a contribution because there's a core uh, philosophy of people matter. Um, I'm so excited for this because you and I are a great example of perfect strangers from radically different backgrounds met <laughs> coincidentally at a conference in Santa Fe, New Mexico. And two years later, we remain friends and hopefully we'll get to see each other in Lecce, Italy. Yeah, that would be awesome. Well, I can't thank you enough for your time, Liz. Uh, hopefully, with your permission, we'll come back and, and uh, bug you again before our conference and get a little bit more, maybe two or three, four more minutes with you uh, as we get closer to the event. Okay, thank you so much. You have a great day. You too. Thank you.